Awesome. When I saw a lot of people make this deck, it just seemed like a fun thing. ADP with... Well, yeah, ADP. You know, Zacian V. Zamazenta V, because of all the VMAX and stuff going around. But with Persian GX. I love Persian GX. Since I did the Zordusian deck and stuff like that. Very awesome card. Go check that out. I really like the thumbnail on that. Nice fusion of the three cards. But Catwalk, very good card, and it works well. You set up with uh, ADP. Hey, man. You set up with ADP, it does its job, and then if it gets knocked out, you get yourself whatever two cards you want. You can set up just as fast again. It's a nice idea. You got Oracorio GX, also a GX, which could work with Catwalk. But, you know, draw, there's lots of draw. Mawile GX, also a GX, but also that good ability. I've been liking teching her in since I've been playing this. And then I've noticed a lot of people are teching them in to their metal deck. So I'm like, cool, everyone's teching this in. I'm glad people are finally seeing how good she is. The typical draw supports we just see. Elder Gus V, again, typical support. And that's basically it. Lots of cherished balls. You need the you need to cherish your balls, okay, guys? You gotta cherish your balls. Ladies, cherish your balls. Cherish those ball. Anyway, uh, enough of that humor, all right? Uh, then you get the base stuff there, switch stuff around for the energies, Metal Saucer, Energy Spinner, Viridian Forest, Quick Ball, Switch. We have all the stuff here. We know what it's like. I was very fascinated with this deck. I like the idea of testing it out. I played it twice, didn't record it, and I did well. We got Persian GX out, did what I had to do, and it was phenomenal. 20 games later, I have yet to, like, freaking. well, maybe I'm over-exaggerating. Maybe, like, 10 games later, but this deck sucks, is all I'm going to say. So, here's some <laughs> gameplay, but I'm like, wow, like, those first few times, wow, this is awesome. And then, haven't been able to pull off anything of Persian for a long time, even when you have everything that's set up perfectly, it seems that way, no. But it's a, 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 a neat idea. It's to the T, uh, everyone else plays it, basically, and yet... Eh, I'm not a fan of it. Although I do like Persian GX, which is a shame. It should work, but for me, it doesn't. What was me? What deck is next? Hmm, let's get into it. Started off, and because I was not too enthralled with this deck, being very upset. I mean, look at the start we have already. Ugh. I mean, so what we're going to see here is... Let's find out what the deck is first, I guess. It's water. Maybe I'm being too harsh on this deck, and it'll be all water under the bridge, you know. <laughs> no. Yes, yes, I'd like to draw a card. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I was distracted on something that more entertaining than me just going, eh, whatever. All right, so let's see. Ooh, Keldeo. I still like how Keldeo is still a good card, especially against that no-good Eternatus. Oh, the best thing. I've already had him a couple times, a couple videos I put out that had Keldeo in it, and nothing's better than using this GX and then going, boom! Twice and two videos, each of those di separate decks with Keldeo in it, I, I wanted to keep in the videos where... Like, I know they're supposed to be focused on the, the deck it's supposed to be, but I love, just showing off, no, you gotta see how awesome Keldeo is against Eternus. It's awesome. Ooh, Wailord V. I really want to try Wailord V, too. Just for the fun and giggles, right? Just for the trolling, the memes, whatever. And it's actually a pretty decent little thing there. It's basically the Slowbro deck with the three strikes thing. Not as fun because he's still a single prizer. And if you flip those three tails, well then, it's pretty awesome when you lose to yourself. You gotta, I, I enjoyed it. On my first video, I'm like, I want to make sure I show at least a segment of, there it is. I pulled it off. Happy. No reflipping coins. Because my first deck, I didn't have any. We just went with it. I went, the first deck, I'm like, I didn't want no coin flipping changes. But now that we have Glenwood Tangle, Slowbro Trollo is even better than before. And this is basically better than that just because he does, you know, 20 more damage per flip. So that could knock out a lot of stuff. And next out, the big boys. I mean, the really big boys. So it's a pretty fun deck. I enjoy it. 
So I guess I'll continue to narrate through this, even though I don't think I really showcase too much. Shame with the Elder Gospel, we had a decent setup. We have the Persian, but a lot of times I really get ticked off. I don't have the Meowth to put the dang Persian on. Ditto Prison Star is greatly, greatly missed. Because that's an extra copy, uh, I, and a lot of other things too, where... I don't know. Okay. See, now stuff like that, I know you want to draw because you're going to get Crobat. But those switches might come in handy later because your guy's so bulky and heavy. Do you really want to get rid of all that energy? Because you're going to need... What if I put out one that you don't need? You're like, crap, I wish I had a switch to switch out to my big whale lord. Hint, hint, wink, wink, basically. Because... Mm, I feel like decks where you need those switches, it's, I don't like, I've, I've lost a couple of times where I'm like, my whole hand is nothing but like, say, you know, I have, okay, I have a couple Jirachis here and I have a lot of the scoop up nets, but I have nothing else. So I'm going to constantly, Jirachi, scoop, put the other one out, Jirachi, put that one out, scoop, etc. Then I'm like, crap, now I have nothing to scoop them out when I need to get rid of these, or I used up all my switches when I should have needed them, now I'm screwed, and yeah. All right, let's put Meowth out so we can at least, hopefully at least evolve into Persian. If anything. I can't do anything with the uh, supporter, so let's put out that one that he put a lot of uh, water energy on. Onto that one. And then it only goes to the bench, and he needs to get a switch to get energy onto him. <sighs> I don't see that happening quite easily, unless it's usually those godly things you see that I never can pull off. <laughs> yeah, it gets pretty aggravating here. All right, what do we got? Oh, shoot. Was that two switches? Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah. See, especially that. Two switches. Damn. Yeah. It, you need that switch. You need to get the energies under that whirler and then switch that out to attack. <clears throat> but can you switch out an attack? Yeah, they're going through their entire deck now to make sure they get that switch. Which, hey, more power to you. But, but, you're going through a lot of your deck. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, what a shame. The Whaler deck seems fun, though. I'm seeing a lot of that lately. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be that good of a deck. Let's get on with it. Boom, boom, boom. Flip, and let's see what we got here, and then do what I'm planning on doing for this. No one's watching this far in anyway. So, let's see what the deck is. I'm pretty sure it's Eternatus. Never judge a deck by its coin, though. So you can't go by the sleeves, I'm guessing, either, or the deck box, because... Mm. Spirit Home. Yep, it's Eternus. Alright, so. Will we win against this one? Let's find out. Hope you enjoy it. We'll just have some nice music to play through because, again, this is ADP Persian. AD Persian. And we didn't get to see any Persian GX action yet. And this one here, I believe I win. I'm not saying anything, but I'm pretty sure... It's in an awesome way, but I don't think we had the fully utilized Persian GX, but it's still a win with the deck. Might as well show it off. And, uh, yeah, let's get to the music again, shall we?
All right, yeah, let's search out that Persian GX, because remember, at least we have Persian GX out here. We're not going to be able to pull it off again, which is why I think this deck just sucks, because I can't ever... I don't know, it's just annoying. just doesn't work. It should work, but it doesn't when I want to show it off. And, uh... If I can get him into the active... If I can get him into the active, uh... I'd rather get a switch, there we go, a switch than just re get rid of all his energy. But we're going to knock out him before he becomes the Eternus VMAX, and I'm pretty sure that's going to tick them off enough to where we're going to have the win. Because they're going to, yeah. Alright, so yeah, cool, let's try one more. Show off that catwalk on the catwalk. Show a little bit of the cat on the catwalk. Probably butcher that, but I don't care. No one's watching to this point, so you're not going to hear that bad joke. All right, Meow's sitting there saying, hey, and we have ourselves an electric deck with Bolt Und. Who oh boy. <clears throat> I think we'll let him set up. We'll go into some music and see what happens.
All right, as you can see, we have Persian out. This is about 21 minutes in. As you can see, we have Persian out. Uh, our ADP, Zashian's got a good uh, build on. They're going to take out the Zashian, which is fine with me. Because we, too, have a boss's orders, and we're going to take, if anything, we can do three prizes. They, yeah, that's the only thing around this. They're like, oh, I'm not going to knock out your GXs. I'm like, meh, whatever. Don't care. We're still going to beat the crap out of you anyway because you suck. And we're just going to boss's orders out. Yeah, we got tons of boss's orders. So we're going to get our four prizes. Boom. Nice. No more energy, but still. Hey, another Persian for this AD Persian deck. AD Persian GX deck. Persian's really showing off what it can do. It's out. It's there. You can see it. That's all that matters, I guess. He's there in spirit. But they're just going to end up probably bossing orders out someone else. The other Zacian. Just, uh, you know, get around it again. And then we'll be like, oh, darn. Don't they want to take that sweet, sweet three prizes? You know you want to. Oh, no. Oh, well. <sighs> Let's put Persian out again. Really showcasing what this deck does, don't you? And of course, yeah, let's see what we get out of this. Yeah, they've really got nothing. We're going to have to do nothing here but boss's orders out. That. Put that out and hope for the best. That's all they're going to have to do. <clears throat> Might have to win out. <sighs> With that ourselves. What can they do? What can they do? Alright, they get that so they can retreat them. But do they have a boss's orders? For that cheap win. Ugh. Dang, they're really going through their deck now. I mean, if, if they don't do something, then I can just wait for them to deck out. I mean, holy crap. I don't see the point. And they don't do anything. Bosses orders out that one again. All right. I think that's how it's going to turn out. They're going to deck out. Why? <laughs> Why would you do it, though? But still, yay, this deck sucks, though. Sorry. It, it does. Eh, whatever. It could have been good. This has been... Professor... <laughs> Tissadzoo.